Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to today's crafts. Today we're going down the another topic of the kids that they've been doing, which is the past, present and future. So they've been doing a lot of things to do with the past. And the first thing that they were doing was to do with um, stone, uh, the Stone Age. So what we're going to be making today is a caveman drawing. We're going to be making this drawing, this painting here of like a caveman style. It's very simple to do. I know we have these images here where you're not going to have to draw any of those. You probably will need to draw them at first as templates and then the kids will use sponges to dab the colour on them but they will do the whole background, colour it all in and then they will use their stencils to make this really cool caveman painting style for their stone age topic. So let's get down to it. Okay so what you're going to, so what you're going to need first is some off-white or grey plain paper, some black paint, ordinary school black paint, a sponge, an old little sponge to dab onto the page, some crayons on the grey sort of colour, orange and yellow gives it that more of an oldy sort of little feel to it. What you I'll do at the end is I'll tear edges of this just to give it that little bit more of a rough sort of texture but orange yellow brown any of those sort of colors are good to use a little tub to put your paint in and you'll need the stencils and these are stencils that i have already pre-cut and made now if you go onto google you'll be able to find any type of um if you go on to and tap in uh if you tap in uh, caveman art or caveman wall drawings you'll come across a lot of these type of images all you can do is just print them off and then copy them onto a piece of paper and then just cut them out very carefully and um, what I basically did as well was where I started to cut I then just placed a piece of sellotape over it just so that it seals it and then the kids would just put them onto the page and they'll just dab their sponges over the top of each one you can see that they've already used all these ones already i'm not going to use all of them but it was good it's good just to get a different array of different types of images now we've got like um uh, we've got like a little tree or it could be like a little arrow we've got a little tree there we've got a little caveman hunting one there i've um, got a couple of animals as well that they did um, a couple of wavy lines as well it doesn't have to be animals you know you could do a couple of wavy lines um, another hunter there uh, a couple of more there we go, probably see them that way, a bit better. Uh, a little snake, a shark, and a little tent as well. So there is stencils that you can already pre have made and then get the kids to just dab their paints onto them. So the first thing we're gonna do <coughs> the first thing we're gonna do is get our crayons. And what we're going to do is we're just going to colour in very roughly an orangey yellowy type of background for it to go on. It gives it, give it, nice, gives it a nice bit of a contrast it does. Don't have to go right to the edges. Gives it that old sort of look as well plus with the colouring of it as well. They, they love doing this sort of thing, kids love doing this sort of stuff. So we've got that, and maybe add a little bit of yellow to it as well. Okay, so now we've got our base down for our templates. Out of the way, we get our black paint, pour it into our tub, got our paint now, choose a couple of stencils, like I said I'm not going to do all of these ones, I'm just going to do a few, just so that you get the idea, I'll use that little guy there. They're the ones I'm going to use. I might do it that 
way around because it's well I'll see how it goes in this way. Let me get your sponge, dab it in the paint, get them to hold it down and then just dab onto it. And now they've peed it off. And then we've got a little character there. By the way, now we'll go for our next one here, which is our animal. Stencils, you can get quite a few. You can get quite a few uses, usages out of them. So yeah, use a, a thick card for it. We've got caveman style images and then what you want to do is just tear it off I mean wait until it's dry but it doesn't have to be neat as well the idea of it is not to be neat because you want it to look like it's like part of a, a stone or you know it's part of an old slab stone or something like that as well so it's good just to make your cutting tearing should I say is not as neat as possible and there we have it guys our stone age caveman style painting just using a piece of paper some black paint and some pre-made stencils and put that there so you can see some pre-made stencils great for kids artwork school projects up on their wall as well and it's a good little display as well to show people with your displays as well thank you all for watching see you guys again